I know. You can't understand me. But put down the stapler or I will electrocute you. We know what you're thinking. When did a Pokemon have the time to get a private investigator license? And more importantly, why the Psyduck is a Pikachu a detective? We'll break it all down for your IMD brief. The Detective Pikachu trailer recently dropped and immediately began trending on IMDb as it introduced a fresh take on the 22-year-old franchise, the Poké Noir. Since the original game, Pocket Monsters Red and Green, debuted in 1996, Pokemon has spawned over 100 video games, more than 1,000 episodes of the cartoon series, in addition to 21 animated features, and one infamous political foible from 2016. I'm trying to figure out how we get them to have Pokemon go to the polls. And in that time, Pikachu hasn't said much more than... Pika Pika! Yeah! Pika Pika Pika! In the 2017 animated film, Pokemon the Movie, I Choose You, Pikachu spoke a single line of English and elicited this response from American audiences. So the decision to have Ryan Reynolds voice the character for the very first live action feature was a bold one to say the least. But he wasn't the first name that circled the project. My life so is a lie! It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia's Danny DeVito was actually considered for Pikachu's voice, which sent the internet into a tailspin of trailer recuts, change.org petitions, and, well of course, memes, including this prescient artwork by Brandon Bird from 2007. But that still doesn't explain why Pikachu is a detective. Although that does have roots in the Pokemon video games. Don't tell me you can use this guy for me. Released in 2016 in Japan and worldwide in March 2018, Detective Pikachu is a Nintendo 3DS adventure game featuring a coffee-swilling, gruff-voiced Pikachu who teams with the son of his former partner to track that man down which will be essentially the same plot and the same characters as in the 2019 feature film. Okay, that's it. No, we're switching roles. I'm bad cop, you're good cop. But why choose a spin-off game as the basis for the first ever live action film and not something, say, more familiar? Charizard, don't give in! Well, the Pokemon Company, feeling fatigue after so many Ash Ketchum animated episodes and features, thought it was time to go in a new direction with the franchise. So when Goosebumps director Rob Letterman came on board to helm the movie, he was pitched the Detective Pikachu character, and he, quote, fell in love with the story behind it. And now that the Pikachu has been let out of the Pokeball, we're kind of loving this idea too. Oh my God, you can understand me. Stop. I've been so lonely. Want to be the very best? Then add Detective Pikachu and all 21 Pokemon movies to your watch list. <laughs> New episodes of the IMD Brief air every Tuesday and Thursday, and every Pokemaster knows... Oh,